Hello, 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 or should I say, Privyet. <laughs> so, in today's episode, we have Mr. Daveman1989 from the HVNPZ clan, together with his friend, his platoon mate, Mr. Dorz, underscore, I can't see the rest of the name, I think that's it, from the Dorz clan, I guess it's his own clan, both playing KV220-2, one of arguably the biggest DPM monsters in World of Tanks, a very rare gem. I like this vehicle. I used to play it quite, well, quite some time ago, but of course I haven't played, the, apart from the two matches that I had, the, the, that you guys seen, I haven't played this game in such a long time. So he is on, what's the name of this map? It's called Desert Map, aka Sand River. He is top tier in a tier 4 and 5. Arguably the most fun tiers in the game. 4 or 5. In my opinion. You could also have fun at tier 3, but uh, it's a little bit low. And remember, at tier 4, you have all the slots available. Of course, back in the day... We had everything available, but okay, let's get to the action. Now he's shooting this T1 Heavy, making him pay for appearing there out in the open. Forgetting that there are at least two DPM monsters in the game. The T-34S went forward and died like a Muppet to the enemy. And he encountered one of the worst tanks in the game. The worst enemies, meaning dangerous enemies, the BDR. G1B. In Greece, we call it Buduru Guenabu. And talking about BDR, he, that BDR just took out his platoon mate, which is not a very good nice start. Okay, so he's three teammates down. One of them is his platoon mate. He doesn't go through the upper armor turret of that KV1. KV-1 has a weak spot right between the turret and the hull. If you aim at where the driver's hatch is, that huge thing, it's a huge weak spot, for those who didn't know. That guy is behind topography. This KV-1 is getting hit by a high explosive, I guess. Blocking some damage like a boss. This guy comes around the corner like a Muppet. Well, it's an M5 steward, what do you expect? People who play the M5 Stewart, I don't know, something happens to their brain. This also happens to me, of course. It's something about the tank that, you know, you get bored, you don't pen. Uh, well, you go and buy the premium version and it doesn't do it doesn't do shit. <laughs> Most Stewart tanks are just total shit. Okay, you're gonna die now. You're gonna die. You're gonna die now. This thing reloads every, what, four seconds? My god, man. DPM monster. Okay, so his loader is hit, so now his reload is going to be affected. A little bit. A little bit. That's around a 6 to 7 reload with an injured reloader. This tank has like, oh my god man, it's crazy what this tank can do. And it carries a shit ton of ammo. I, I don't remember the number, but I mean... He's shot nothing but premium so far, as far as I'm concerned, and he still has 96 rounds, normal rounds, left. Holy crap. This guy's gonna lose credits, for sure. For sure. So far what he's done, ah, 913 visible damage. He's about to top that a little bit. No, or gaming said no. So his team is losing by four tanks, and they're down by 441 HP. Now they closed the gap a little bit. Very nice. He's gonna make this guy pay. Ah, uh, buddy, just aim your shots. Okay, no, you don't. No longer have to aim your shot. That guy's dead. Great. Four seven. Now the classic thing that happens in these games from four seven, it's suddenly gonna turn to eight seven. 
I, well, 4-8. This is what usually happens in these matches. T28, one of the biggest shoe boxes in the game. Tracked. Why are you shooting a PCR at a T28? It has no armor. Oh well. Well, this guy loves his two key. He loves it. It's his favorite keyboard on the, you know, favorite his favorite uh, key on the keyboard. Number one doesn't exist for him. It exists accidentally once the number two is runs out. Oh wow. He's asking for help. Your teammates are a bunch of Muppets. This KV-1 is shooting HE. He has the big gun, the derp gun. And uh, uh, this KV-1 probably hasn't played this game in a long, long time. He's like, oh, I'm going to roll into the tank. When was the last time I played it? I think it was 2013. I used to shit on everyone with my KV-1. Let's um, load it again. Oh, it has an up. It has an update. Ah, okay, whatever. He comes back three days later when the update is finished. And uh, he's like, oh, now I'm ready to play my KV-1. Let's derp a few people. Mr. Tamaya underscore UKR. Whatever that sounds like. I'm assuming Ukraine. This Chihe just paid. This KV KV1 is running. What the hell is going on with the game? Why aren't these shots going in? It's like, oh, I did 73 damage. Finally. Finally. Shooting HE in 2024. God, man. If you're not a premium artillery or a premium tank in general with good pen, high explosive just sucks. And this guy decides to bounce on his ass. For some reason. He would have taken him out. 350. Damn, that would have been horrible. He still have. Wow, he bounces twice on his ass. Twice. Amazing. Now the score is tied. 9-9. Nine, nine. See? Didn't I tell you he's going to get tied? This is how it happens in these games. And they're winning by HP. So, this KV-1 has him permanently spotted. Likewise. Ditto. Um, okay. No gun depression. Now he's going to get him. Yeah, he's going to get him. You know why he's shooting regular stuff? Because you ran out of the premium premium rounds. Pretty simple. Takes out this Crusader 4. KV-1 gets taken out by one of the most useless tanks in the game, in my opinion. M5A1 Stuart. That is the tier 4 version of the Stuart. Well, it can circle you if you're a... Uh, Turtlist tank destroyer to do that, but yeah, okay. Other than that, it's just a piece of garbage. When I see them on the battlefield, I'm like, ah, yeah, whatever. He'll be lucky if he does 100 damage to me throughout all the battle. And that's usually the case. If you know how to angle your armor, the steward is just total. It's just useless. Useless. I love seeing them with my leaf blower, and I just one shot them, and they like, bye bye. <laughs> See ya. Well, if he's lucky, he'll survive and make it two shots. They are the equivalent of um, of an EBR Hotch. Not an EBR 105, because EBR 105 is far too fast. Great. And his teammates took out the last tank, which happens to be the German Panzer IV Ankle with that weird crew. You guys remember that weird crew, those Japanese girls? Hi, happiness! Goodbye! All that weird stuff that they say, whatever. Okay, let's see. Um, how did our friend do? So, he says in the title of the replay, 3,300 damage on, on tier 5. He aces the tank, fighter, shellproof, fire for effect, bruiser, high caliber for doing 3,362 damage, 5 kills, all, almost a top gun, all could have been a top gun, okay, and yeah, of course he lost credits, 118.2 thousand credits spent 
on ammunition. Oh my, ay ay ay, and six thousand on regular stuff because he used repair and uh, and medikit. Eleven thousand six hundred fifty-two uh, W and eight. Very good, very good job, my friend. And let's see. Normally, he would have if we hadn't spent all those credits. Uh, let's say let's say he shot nothing but regular stuff he would have come out of this battle with a profit of approximately a hundred thousand a hundred thousand profit no wait no 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 my bad my bad I'm sorry um 85 around he would have spent somewhere around seven to eight thousand credits on ammunition tops another six that's another 14 16 85 20 well around he would have made a profit of around 59 to 60 thousand i correct myself oh well hope you guys enjoyed that we are going to go watch a second replay Okay, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, especially ladies, or should I say ladies? <laughs> What's the reference? Ladies, ladies, washer room. Do you guys know the reference to that? It starts with a movie called The, definite article, T H E, The What? Could you guys let me in the comments below? I just remember that movie when I say ladies, and then I remember Ladis. What's your name? Ladis. Ladis Vasher Vasher Rup. Ah, ay ay ay. If you watch that movie and you have a good sense of humor, you would have laughed. And you're not a you know you're not a fanatic in, in any way, shape, or form. So this time. We are watching another KV-220-2, not platooned. It's Mr. Helmut Opravar... What the... What's your username? Helmut Opravar... Komino from the Intas clan. I-N-T-A-S clan. Okay. And right in the beginning of the battle, ladies and gentlemen... The enemy grille takes out the SU-122A. Hmm. Was it a lucky uh, counter battery shot? Did the SU even fire? I don't know. I'm gonna have to watch it as soon as this battle is over. He comes here, shoots his guy a couple of times, he rams him a little bit, gives him some ramming love, hugs him. And he takes him out. This is the new tank which uh, Wargaming gave us as a reward for the veterans. It's just another Panzer, for, Panzer 4H re remodeled and renamed. Classic Wargaming crap. Classic. Every year they disappoint us. They do not fail to disappoint us, actually. By giving out these crappy rewards, in which most players in the end, they end up just selling and they get for a free garage slot. But now you don't have to do that anymore because you can buy garage slots for credits. So, this is an encounter I forgot to mention on Mines. First map I ever played in the game. Remember these things. Remember the things that I say during my videos. My, my favorite all-time tank, my, my second favorite, my first map, uh, what else? My favorite map. You guys try and remember these. I, I mean, I don't doubt that there must be some of you who are paying attention, but I want to raise more and more awareness. I want you guys to be more observant. So, capture base is blocked. They are losing by four tanks. He just got shot by Grilla. Nice shot by that Grilla, you have to admit. I mean, even if you hate Arties, you must admit that was a good shot. What the hell is that Panzer C doing? Panzer 3J is, doesn't know how to aim properly. Well, he's bouncing. He's looking left, right, and center. 
I uh, I recently watched this video where the where the highest damage blocked in tier three. It was ridiculous, utterly ridiculous. Is this guy shooting? Uh, 99 pen. Premium is 120. Yeah, he's shooting. He's shooting the regular stuff. And he has food, regular repair kit, regular medikit. No fire extinguisher. Wait, what camera is this? Okay, okay, it's the fixed camera. Great. Nice. Uh, this guy decided to load, to load, but decided to shoot only once for some reason. He panics, and he's dead. What happens when you panic? You die. And this guy decided to do the I want to go around you maneuver with my big gun, which uh, cannot aim. How the hell did that go in? He has him auto aimed, and come on, you're gonna take him out? No? Okay. What is this guy doing? Oh, he's trying to shoot. You have an outline? Yes, nice. What the hell? What the hell was the AMX doing? Trying to cap the base. If I, uh, 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 mommy, if I stay long inside the base on an encounter, I will cap it. Even though there are other tanks nearby. We were winning, mommy. Now we're now we're gonna lose. But why? Well, huh. okay. So they have no artillery left. In case you guys missed that. And the enemy still has both artilleries. Which is good for them because it's a support, uh, you know, it's a support tank basically. Support vehicle. Not exactly a tank. Um, but at the same time it's like saying that they are kind of tied. Because if no one spots for the artillery it's useless. Okay. Now he's, well, he's shooting this guy using APCR. M41 HMC fails to do damage. Oh man, Matilda is just a, just a beast, man. It's a beast. But he takes out both Matildas. And now he's trying to get Artie safe. But the Leopard goes and machine guns one artillery while he takes him out. Very nice shot on that Grillet there. And Leopard is reloading. He has an 18 second reload with that gun, if I remember correctly. Here comes the other DPM monster. Uh, you're playing the same tank. You should know where the weak spot is, buddy. No, it's not there. That's not the weak spot. Oh, now he's hugging him. Okay. Spamming APCR. The, 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 the weak spot is directly below. The same as the KV-1. That's why I mentioned it. You know what I mean? You have to spam APCR, but... Okay, whatever. Okay, now all three of them are there. They're capping. There's a own There's a Panzer 38... NA, not EU, NA. He's from the NA. That's why it took him so long to arrive at, at the base. Just kidding. <laughs> These silly, silly things that I say, man. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Panzer. Yeah, okay, Panzer 38. Trying to pen a KV 220 frontally. Yeah, good luck with that. With regular ammo. Yeah, good luck with that. I think it was regular ammo, wasn't it? This guy's going for the kill. He doesn't want to wait for the cap. Yeah, there's nothing that the Panzer can do. Nothing. He could track him, but uh, that's it. That's it. And he's dead. Nice. So, in case you guys missed it, this guy has done 3,391 visible damage. Let's see if he got any... Um, invisible damage. Any blind shots in? I don't think he did. So let's check. Let's see. 3,391. And here we are, monsieur. Wow. Look at all those medals, man. Holy shit. Ace tanker. He did 3,391. Very nice. Fire for effect, sharpshooter, shell proof, master gunner, duelist, bruiser, HOG, Radley Walters for doing nine kills, high caliber, 
Top Gun, it goes with Radley Walters, of course. And Steel Wall. Wow, amazing. 2006 Space XP, ladies and gentlemen. Comes out on top in literally everything. Everything. The second closest is the Leopard, who died in the end. Kudos to him. He got 849 Base XP, 1500 damage, almost. And the enemy KV220-2 did very well. Mr. Cromwell96. Let's see. Uh, first in damage. Seven kills. Very nice. And 969 Base XP on a loss. Good job, Cromwell96. And let's see, well, yeah, this guy lost credits, but not so much compared to the previous guy. He lost 20.2 thousand credits. He, he, he shot some APCR, but not that much. Not that much. One thing that really took him down is the premium consumables. He would have made credits if he hadn't used those. But wait a second, I thought it was only one premium consumable. Am I not something wrong with my eyes? What the hell's going on here? What the hell? Small repair kit? Small first aid kit? Huh? Wait, what? Maybe he has a directive which we cannot see. Okay, okay. Okay. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed these two battles. Share the love in the comments below. Let me tell let me know if you guys have this tank. If you don't, would you get it? Now that you've seen how well it performs on the battlefield and uh catch you guys tomorrow you guys are awesome bye bye